Hey, what's up, Z-Pack? It's your boy, Dr. Zubin Nemanja, AKA Z-Dog MD. It's chaos over here, I apologize, but it raises my blood pressure to be in an active construction zone, which is what I'm talking about today, which is blood pressure measurements. Listen, by current definitions, like something like 50% of Americans have high blood pressure. This is insane especially in light of the fact that we most often measure it wrong, especially healthcare professionals who should know better. So here, it just it kills me that we're making life and death decisions, putting people on medications, giving them a stigma of a disease, affecting their life insurance, but, and we're not even measuring blood pressure right. Here is how you measure blood pressure, and I want you to listen in and take notes, especially if you're a student, okay? And even if you're not. First of all, when you measure blood pressure, you better pick the right cuff size. If the cuff is too big or too small, you're gonna get erroneous readings, okay? It should fit comfortably around the arm. Do not put it over clothes. The shirt should come off, there should be, it should be over bare skin, all right? When you check a blood pressure, because people are stressed, they're walking in, they've been waiting in the lobby, they're crazy, five minutes of quiet time before you check the pressure. Now this is really hard in our chaotic healthcare environment, but if we're gonna make life and death decisions, we need to at least, we owe it to our patients to do it correctly, okay? Make sure the room isn't too cold or too hot. Make sure the patient has voided their bladder. Make sure that they're not um, going crazy with construction and remodeling. And make sure that you take the blood pressure with the feet flat on the ground, okay? The back supported in a chair, Right? Back supported in the chair, right, Eric? That's right. You take, you take the pressure with the arm at heart level supported on something, okay? Because the, otherwise you're going to get erroneous readings. And you want to do it two measurements, roughly, you know, a couple minutes apart. And if those measurements differ by more than a few millimeters of mercury, you probably want to take a third measurement. Remember that blood pressure varies over the course of a day. And so you may want to check it in the morning. You may want to check it at night, check it at home, teach your patients how to do this at home because people get white coat hypertension and then they're treated for something that maybe they don't have. It's very, very important. Now, remember the key things are if the back isn't supported, if the feet aren't flat, don't let the legs be crossed. Stop talking to your patient when you're checking their blood pressure. Tell them to be quiet. Talking will change the blood pressure. Now look at my blood pressure. It's going through the roof right now because they're drilling in my house. Probably we're gonna hit a gas main and explode. This is the wrong time to check my blood pressure, all right? Let me chill for five minutes. Now listen, why is this important? Nurses and doctors and MAs, people who are checking blood pressure, patients at home. If you screw this up, it's a life and death Thing. If I start you on hydrochlorothiazide and lisinopril because I think your blood pressure is high and it's not, I am doing you a disservice. You may pass out, you may have syncope, you may hurt your kidneys. Why? Because I screwed up. So guys, here's the call to action. We did a longer video on this. There's plenty of resources online on how to take a correct blood pressure. The machines, by the way, are not bad. Sometimes it's helpful to put a patient in a room and have the machine check it because then you lose a little bit of the white coat aspect. So there's a lot of nuance here, but the bottom line is just check the damn blood pressure right. And the other thing is check the pressure. That's a key thing, right? So many people just don't, aren't even screened. All right, guys, I love you. Become a supporter of the show. You can subscribe. We get crazy uncensored content. You can send us these little stars, which are like a tip jar that goes to buy Logan's adult diapers uh, and Tom's Bitcoin. So the main thing we want from you though is please share this video because we're trying to change the practice of medicine for the better for all of us. All right, guys, I love you. I'm gonna go see what's blowing up. What's blowing up? Nothing? That's good. I'm out.